Yo, what is up, YouTube men? Getting triple doubles as a center is always nice. And as you guys can see, 22 points, 21 rebounds, 11 blocks in the solo wreck on my 7 foot 1 center. I'm sure you guys are curious about the build. I will show you guys at the end of the gameplay. But having a long wingspan, having this 87 block, and playing in solo wreck where a lot of people will try you in the paint. A lot of people prefer to go and dunk the ball. It is interesting, you know, a lot of people, they're not too confident with their jump shot, but when it comes to trying to dunk on a seven foot one center in the paint, they could not have any more confidence going through their body. And as you guys can see too, I'm going up against a 95 close shot, 93 block in his own right. He's got 90 standing dunk. He is an inside center. He made his build to be dominant in the paint on offense and defense. You can see I start the game with a block. He goes up with a layup, but I'm down there once again. They get the board. I'm jumping up. I'm getting high. I got that nice vertical on my build. Dot my teammate right here. He's able to make the shot early on, you know, one assist, two rebounds, but because I got those couple of blocks, my takeover is already nearly filled. I throw a fast break right here. My teammates, they're doing the smart thing, getting the easy bucket, which deserves some praise because you guys may be thinking, you know, it's a fast break. Of course they scored. That is not the situation in solo rec right here. I get the ball. I shoot the mini fade. I'm starting off a little bit slow. You can see one for four shooting 25% from the field. That is not something you want to do as a center. But at the very least, I'm making up for it on the defensive end. I'm getting blocks, and not only that, and I'm not going to show all these highlights, but I was just getting stops in the paint, whether that was jumping at him, whether that was playing some hands-up defense. My guy's able to get a perimeter contest right here. I'm able to worm him, get the board, throw the break once again, and it is just a flood of a basketball game. Now, remember, too, I'm only, I, you know, I'm shooting one for four. I only have two points, and we are completely blowing this team out. Now, of course, I'm going to get going on offense. You know, first game of the day, missing a couple of shots. That's not going to continue. I do a vertical contest right there. I don't get the block, but like I said, man, it's not always about getting the block sometimes it's just about getting good contest in the paint sometimes that can be even better because if you block the shot there's a good chance you're going to block it into their hands it's going to go out of bounds wait for him to jump right here go up with the standing meter dunk but at the same time you know i love getting blocks i mean right here off his body that ends up being our ball Every time I get a block two, I'm going to get two-way tenacity. That is going to boost my jump shots right here. They give me a little bit too much space. I'm able to green the shot. There's a lot of people that debate, you know, what's perfect. Bronze anchor, silver, gold, Hall of Fame. Honestly, bronze gets the job done. But I will say, I like going with that silver anchor, mainly because you can get gold chase down artists to go along with the 87 block right here. Another vertical contest. Doesn't foul them. At the end of the video, too, I will show you guys, you know, some of the tips to get more blocks as a center. They leave me open for the pop right here. We're playing good perimeter defense. You know, they're starting to just chuck up shots. This center, whenever he gets a board, he tries to go back up, you know, pretty often. 90, what was it, 95 close shot, 90 standing dunk. Why would he not? He thinks he's either going to dunk on me. He thinks, you know, the close shot's going to be high enough that even if I can test the shot, it's going to go in. But all that goes out the window whenever I block the shot. Nothing you can do about that. You can't time it good enough if you're getting blocked. The AI right here, I jump up. I mean, nothing easy in the paint. That is for sure. Get a box right here. Another rebound. As you guys saw too, even though I started off slow, I got 17 points. I have not missed since then. I'm shooting 7 for 11, 2 for 2. Even if you start slow, and I've seen this a lot, people will miss a couple of shots, and they will be out of there. They'll take the ban. They're not trying to, you know, finish the game out. It's all right to start off with a couple of misses. You can play defense. You can do other things to get yourself going. I mean, even though I was shooting bad at the beginning, the team was still flooding them, so it doesn't really matter right here. They try to throw the standing lob. That counts as a block. Now, sometimes, you know, maybe that'd be a steal, I guess because it did touch his hands first, and then I blocked it. That's why I got the block. 18 points, 17 rebounds, 6 assists. That one's a steal right there. I felt like I must have had 2A tenacity 20 times this game. Give it to me in the paint. Take my time and then go up with the standing dunk. Get him in a contact animation. Nothing you can do in that situation right here. He tries to test me, tries to go up. At this point, they're down. He's probably just trying to get himself some buckets. That's going to be some free blocks for me. I end the game with 11 of them. And I'm not going to lie. There was a lot of situations, you know, where... 
I played a lane. I just did hands up defense. I did a vertical contest. I definitely felt like I could have gotten 20 blocks this game if I was going for it every single time. But being a good defensive center, it's not always about going for the blocks. It's about doing the right defensive play. We end up with 97 points. I don't know why, man. Every time I play Wreck, we almost get 100, and then they start sweating to make sure we don't. We don't even realize it. We end up with 96, 95, 97. I'm going to let you guys see the build really quick right here. This is my 7'1 center. 95 pass axe, 60 steal, 87 block. There's a few things that I did differently with this build that I didn't do with some other builds. I have a bit more block, a bit more interior. The rebounding, you know, the defensive rebounding, it's only 80, but the rebound chaser on gold carries the rebounding stats. I do wish I had the 90 standing dunk instead of the 85, but as you guys can see, you still got a really big meter whenever you go for the standing dunks. And the reason I went 95 pass act is for that Hall of Fame touch passer. Immediately off the rebounds, you can throw it and it's a dime nearly every single time a ton of badges on this build i got post scoring badges i got dunking badges i got shooting badges i got rebounding badges i got defensive badges i mean as many badges as you could want on a build this has and a lot of them are at their max level i utilize this build in a lot of ways now when it comes to getting blocks what i do is if somebody is driving into me and i want to meet them at the same exact time we both hit at the exact same time like this I just tap Y, I let go of RT. If it's a situation where I run into him and then he starts his animation after I run into him while I got body contact and then I hold RT and press Y to go for more of the aggressive block. And then there's another thing that's called a vertical contest where you're just pulling your sticks away and you're just putting your hands straight up. I do that when I'm trying to stay out of foul trouble whenever I'm, you know, not just trying to hunt down blocks. If somebody's getting a lot of foul calls, if I'm thinking they have gold or Hall of Fame whistle, I'm going for that a lot more. I'm doing different things than just going for an aggressive block every single time. I feel like a lot of people, they don't think too hard about going for blocks like that. And you don't need to. I mean, you can just hold RT and press Y or triangle and it'll get the job done for the most part. But learning these other shot contest and block mechanics will make you just a bit more sweaty as a center or, you know, a back in a lock, anything like that. Let me know what you guys think of the video. If you don't drop a like, subscribe, of course, I do appreciate it a ton. And this is Tonic Man. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Now I'm out. Peace.